Okay, uh, welcome to Shabito Uganda e Learning. Uh, my name is Nelson, and today's video we shall be looking at finite system. Uh, remember, we are able to look at uh, uh, decimal and non decimal uh, systems. Okay, so this is our continuation. Uh, we are still dealing with these systems uh, that always come. Uh, so, uh, for us to get an overview of this, we should be able to understand uh, when you talk about the finite system, what do they mean? Then uh, we should also be able to understand uh, how does the finite system work? Hmm? So when we understand uh, what a finite system is and also understand how uh, a finite system work or how do we write it uh, for us to show that this, is, uh, this number is into a finite, then uh, we shall have uh, the concept to do some more other numbers okay so here we are saying a finite system is a way of counting numbers of counting in the remainder so here we are going to be dealing with what with the remainders when they give you a number and they want you to show uh, maybe three finite five abcd or uh, add uh, using a finite system that means we shall be able to deal with some remainder somewhere okay so uh, here they are showing us uh, the finite, uh, the finite five, uh, how it is it is arranged. Uh, we are having if we have a finite five, uh, we shall be able we'll be able to have numbers like a zero, uh, one, a two, a three, four, a five, then a six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, uh, blah blah, up to up to twenty four. Okay. Then uh, they are telling us that. Uh, if we have our finite system and they have a zero finite five, that simply means uh, in these numbers that we have, we have what we call, in these numbers that forms out our zero finite five, we have a five itself, then we have a ten itself, we have a five, a fifteen, a twenty, and some others. So how do we come up with these numbers? Hmm? How do we come up with these numbers? We are looking out for numbers that are going to be uh, that are going to give us what uh, we are going to get. Uh, these are numbers that when we are when they are divided by our five, which is the finite, okay, the finite, uh, then they give us what we call a, a zero as a what as a remainder. So when we write here and we say zero finite five, so that simply means that uh, these numbers of ours have been divided by some other numbers uh, to give us a remainder which is a what? Which is a zero. Uh, for example, if we maybe say five divided by five, okay? We shall be able to get one, one remainder, what? Zero. If we say 10 divided by five, we shall get two, two remainder, what? Zero. If we get, uh, if we say three divided by five, which is our finite, we shall get uh, three, three remainder, what? Zero. When we also get our 20 here, and we say uh, 20 divided by 5, we shall be able to get our, uh, how many can we get? Is it 10 remainder 0? All right. So uh, that is uh, how we really identify that this is a finite of a number. Also, now when here they say, they write 3 finite 5 is equal to 8, okay, is equal to 8. Uh, 13, 18, uh, 23, and gives this. This simply means that uh, when we are dividing our 8, uh, 8 divided by 5, we shall get some numbers and remain with some. Uh, our answer is 0, okay? We remain with our 0. It is some numbers, then we remain with what? We remain with uh, a 3 as a what? As a remainder when they are divided by 5. So uh, that is a system that we are going to be uh, looking at, especially when it comes to handling finites. Uh, so <coughs> as we have been uh, saying, if we have our 8, okay, let's write this is our 8, uh, we divide it by 5, which is our finite. We find that uh, in this we shall be able to get 1, 1 remainder, 1, 1 remainder what? 1, 1 remainder 3. So for us to write uh, this number of hours, uh, to write the finite of this, we shall be able to write and say uh, uh, three, uh, then finite. OK. 
okay, three finite what? Three finite five. We are counting numbers in what? In remainders, okay? So we have some other examples here. Uh, we have some other examples. Now this comes to when we are adding these finites, okay? They tell you we have two plus one dash clock five, okay? So for us to be able to get the number, mm, for us to be able to get the number, we shall be having our three, uh, our three finite five, okay? Our three finite five. They now want us to uh, uh, know the number which was here. So when we say uh, this plus this is the same as three finite what? Three finite five. We add the total here. After adding the total here, then we say three finite five. So this this simply means that this finite which has been given, it lies within an, an, a certain number which was uh, added. After adding, they got a remainder which is a zero. Uh, they added it by five and they got a remainder which is, uh, I mean, which is a, five, a, a three, okay? So that means uh, when we are to follow up this number, it lies between uh, these numbers of ours. It was either B8 or 13 or 18 or 23 and some others, okay? So that is uh, how we shall be looking and dealing with numbers of finite. So here we have... Um, we have when we now add our number three uh, plus four we get our answer seven okay so when we get our answer seven our seven is greater than the finite which is five that we have so that simply mean that brings us to what to another step that we shall be performing which is uh, when you divide the number, when you get a number, an answer here which is greater than our finite, we divide that number by the what? By the finite itself, which is 5. Then we say 7 uh, divided by 5. Then when you say 7 divided by 5, that simply means we shall have our 1, 1, we, then we remain with our 2. So uh, the finite number or the finite system of this uh, 3 plus 4, we shall be able to get our 2. Uh, then finite five. That shall be our what? That shall be our answer. Okay, so uh, that is how we shall be solving out numbers uh, concerning finite what? Finite system. So we have some activities here that we need to perform and we need to do. Uh, our number one, we shall just use some numbers. Uh, then some other numbers will be your uh, will be your task. Okay. So we are going to choose our number one number two uh, number four then number six and we are going to do them from here we have our three our three plus our three plus three then dash finite okay three plus three then finite what finite five Okay, so when you look here, they are able to talk about the mod. The mod, uh, when they talk about mod, it is another way they name uh, finite. It is another way they do what? They name finite, okay? So that's why I've been able to write here mod, which is still the same. So when you add this, this is the same as what? This is, this is going to be the same as 6. Uh, 6 divided by... 6 divided by 5, uh, then uh, 6 divided by 5, finite, uh, finite what? Finite 5. So this simply means we shall get 1, 1 remainder, 1, 1, 1 remainder, One one remainder one. So this simply mean this is going to be our finite it's going to be our one uh, then uh, our one finite what? 
awan fanait fanait 5 so this shall be our what our answer for our first what our first question so you can look here here we have um, we have 4 plus 4 uh, I mean 4 plus 1 4 plus what? 4 plus 1 uh, This gives us our The sum for right here We have to first do what? We have to Then this is the same as 5 finite Finite what? Finite 5 Okay, so we also have, uh, uh, okay, these are the same numbers. So we also have our 4 uh, plus, uh, plus 4, which is the same as, uh, then this is mod what? Mod 5. This is mod, mod 5. So this is going to be our eight uh, divided by divided by what? Divided by uh, five divided by five. Then finite what? Uh, finite five. So this is going to be. Uh, one one remainder one one remainder what remainder three finite remainder three finite right what finite five so finally she'll be able to write our three finite what our three finite our three finite what finite five okay so uh, that is how we can be able to uh, solve uh, numbers uh, that is especially addition in what addition in finite so this is how we are going to be dealing with addition of finites and uh, in this I have been able to look at some examples how we find finites. If a number is uh, more than a number is more than what? If a number is more than uh, more than the finite number itself, you divide it. Then you write the remainder. Okay. Uh, you say to the remainder. You say uh, that remainder finite the what? Finite five becomes your final what? Final answer. So for this lesson, I thank you very much for being part of it. Uh, stay blessed and have a nice moment.